Hey y'all, I just wanted to, ooh, Revo. Hey y'all, I just wanted to run through how I just made the uh, stuck in the middle with you bootleg, featuring these awesome Christmas tree sunglasses. All right, um, let me run through it while drinking my mint tea. Delish. Where do I start? Let's start at the beginning of the song. I think that's the easiest. Firstly, genius GoPro stand, I'd say. There's the light. And I was like, you know, it'd be a perfect angle. There, but it doesn't fit in. Put a vinyl of the Halinag 3 shits. Na na na, stop, stop, hasta la vista. <laughs> hasta la vista. Uh, put them on there. Et voila. So this is a little portable table that I've got here. Sweet little Minel tray. Represent Minel. This is just an external monitor that runs in, runs from the lip, the lip top all the way through here. And then obviously Bluetooth keyboards, blah, blah, blah. Right, so beginning of the video, let me show you the Ableton session. So this on this group channel here, 
I haven't named it because I'm a lazy bastard. I use the native Ableton looper. So I put record on to one bar and then all the same settings. And then at the beginning of the video, I click that record and then all these channels here are record enabled. I've been in, I've been mixing, so that's why everything is unrecord enabled. So all these mics should be coming up now. Yeah, they're all on auto, so they're all coming through. And then so it sounds good in the video, I've got the looper recorder here and it's got an input from the group. That's also record enabled on auto, but it's off like that. So I have the click track playing in my headphones, like so. When I press this record, this will just record these microphones on a one bar loop until I stop it. So here we go. Here we go, so. And then you press play and then it stops, stops it recording. And then while that's recording or playing, I go over to the TR8 and an unmute. Easy, easy. What a loop. That's that. You know what's going on there. Let's take you to this section here. So this is really simple. This track wasn't really about these toys. It was more about Fun Station. And it was more about these, obviously. And it was more about just the song and having fun and vibes. So I was like, don't want to fiddle too many knobs. You know what I mean? Don't want to get my elbows up too much. So, on this, it's super simple. TR8 here, it's just a fucking kick drum. It's just a little, doo -doo -doo. I'll, I'll play it here, so. That's it. That's all that TR8's doing. I just bring it in and out, it's just a kick. And then the 707, this badger, is literally just playing, uh, I believe these two. sub version of it that's it and that's just coming on that oi let's go let's go that's that that uh and obviously you know that takes the bass out got it on filter i think it's on filter number two so yeah i got the looper over here again TO2, 202. So I've just got an auto tune on H tune. I'm stuck in the middle with you. I'm stuck in the middle with you, baby. I'm so stuck in the middle, baby. What next? Oh, and then the roads this time is just going straight into this delicious Fender Blues amp underneath here, and it's mic'd up. Going into the UAD, if I bring my little table around. Such a sweet table, did you see that? Did you see how sweet that was? Yes, yeah, so that's coming in on guitar amp there. Is there anything on it? No. Clean as my gun. So yeah. And I don't know why I came here tonight. So it's just um, lyrics here, don't be hating. D major, G major, D major, and then a major left me, G major, right here I am, stuck in the middle. One, four, five, baby, old school magic. Now, what else goes on? SM7B, it's going through the UAD. It's going through uh, 1176 compressor, into the Pultec EQ, into the LA2A, just squashing it, because I love squash things into the chamber reaver. That's the vocal. And then in Ableton, I'll just show you the vocal chain again when I'm mixing it. So again here, auto tune, just straight on the, straight on the normal notes. Another pull tech, decapitator, giving that crunch. EQ, it's the same chain. And then the Vox gated. Uh, and then some EQ pulling out the low end again after all that processing and then a side chain 
uh, because I'm crazy, and some reverb, which is the same reverb as the tracking one. Now, the fun bit of the tune is the Delta synth, Delta Taxis, uh, which is coming through Patch Bay Delta into pedals in and then pedals out into the RC500. This bad boy again, Boss's new looper toy, which I just love. It's just MIDI synced in, so it's all to the clock. And if I patch anything in, I can loop anything, anything. So I'm looping the Delta, Delta Taxis, and uh, it's coming on one. Coming, so it's coming out the pedals into the 500, out the 500, into the MX-1. So fucking crazy, man. This is channel one, and you can't tell me that's not a dope synth, man. And then that's just to the beat, so two, three, four. Cool. Um, and then that's side chained to the side chain. Uh, uh, what else happens? Oh, and then and then I rock out on the guitar, which is going through, so it's American, American Telly, which then is patched into the Helix down here, and it's actually on the Obsession Game Delay. You're my obsession! Oh, and it's coming in on channel 2 of the MX1, so I can unmute it and mute it and stuff. So. Just D major scale, but I love all the... Then the guitar joins so after the riff. Something like that. It goes to the synth melody. Which is nice. Which I really like. And then it's just rocking out stuck in the middle with the loop and the drums. And it's all just like. Do you know what I mean? That's kinda how I made it. Simples. It's just about the vibe. It's about the song. Everyone knows the song. Sing the lyrics. Play some chords. Have a bit of fun. Stuck in the middle of the U. Let me know what you think. But I'm interested to see if you liked it. You like the tech behind it? You like the groove? You like the sunglasses? You like my hair?